here on a lovely sunny day at Stanborough Lakes. And I used to fish here when I was about 10, 12 years old. I remember my auntie lived just up the road and uh, I used to walk down here about 20, 30 minute walk with my bed chair, my rods, my unhooking mat and everything. To be honest, I never know how I, uh, how I carried it all down here. But it's lovely to be back. It's a little bit windy and you might hear the odd train or car in the background because we're right by the road here. But what a great venue. It's, it's originally like a boating lake. Probably going to get a lot of boats and that over here today. But uh, the rods are out. Oh, I can just see, I've just put a few floaters out and there's a fish just troughing them on the surface. That was a cyclist who just went past. But uh, the rods are out. There's a couple of jetties over the far side that the carp absolutely love to hug tight to. Um, it's not an out of bounds area, but a lot of people can't cast there. So I've whacked a couple of rods over there. They're nice and settled on hinged stiff rigs. And hopefully, just hopefully, I'm gonna catch one of these lovely Stambra carp. <laughs> I had a little go on the top for a while, but uh, things weren't happy and I couldn't get them competing. There was the odd one taking the mixer, but just not just not really having it. So I recall fishing it all them years ago. I remember fishing pop-ups then, and they were actually really, really slow. It's very silty out there, and it might be that I'm actually fishing above them. Maybe they're snuffling into the silt, and I'm actually fishing above where they're feeding. So I'm going to make a quick change. I'm going to go over to a little snowman rig um, and fish it on the deck. So fingers crossed that's going to work. Well, apologies for the noise, it's going a bit wild over here, With boats are out in force now, this train's going past and it's not exactly uh, quiet, but I'm enjoying it. I've had a bit of a rig change and uh, I'm going to reel those rods in shortly and get the bottom bait out there. This is my presentation, um, basically it's made out of a, a £20 IQ2 boom section and that's to a nice soft supple hair and that's actually made from N-trap, the inner of N-trap. I prefer it to be a little bit stiffer than Supernatural. A lot of people use Supernatural as a hair, but I use the end trap in and it's just perfect for what I want. That's a size 6 wide gape and there's a little bit of silicon there on the shank just to hold the hair in place and stop it tangling and over the eye as well. That's just to help it flip and catch turn in the fish's mouth. Got that. That looks sharp. On the end I've got um, I've got whittled down hybrid hook bait and then that's just a, a nice smelly yellow crab bait on the end there just to hold it up just like a snowman on the bottom. I'm using that in conjunction with a helicopter rig. It's very, very silty out there. So I'm wanting that lead to plunge in, leaving the hook bait nice and free for the snowman just to rest on the bottom. So I'm gonna whack that out there now, and we'll see what happens. bottom bait rod that I put out has just gone and I think that little change in tactics has worked. I remember last time I was here, donkeys years ago, probably five, six years ago, they were really weird on the pop-ups and I think it's because the pop-ups were presented above them. Believe it or not when carp feed in silt they really bury their heads down sometimes up to their tails and uh, I think we can fall into the trap trying to present a bait on top of the silt when actually they want it right at the bottom of that because that's where all the food is and this seems to have worked that little helicopter rig that I blasted out there with a little bag of crumb okay. crushed up hybrid just has just gone and I'm well happy because it's been quite hard going today the boats have been a bit of a nuisance I've been having to wait for them before I could cast out but uh, I'm finally in so hopefully we'll get this chap in I'll show you one. Well, 
what a result. Looks like a nice fish, that one. Well, the fish is safely in the net. Looks like a nice one, a nice chunky mirror, maybe mid doubles to upper doubles. But first things first, I'm gonna get the other rod back out, switch that over to a bottom bait as well. I'm gonna ping it out there and hopefully catch another one. Well, how about that for the first one of the day? Got to be 17, maybe 18 pounds. These chaps are always a little bit heavier than they look as well. And uh, that bottom bait change really paid off. So I've switched the other rod over to that as well. And hopefully we're gonna have a good day. One little trick that I think helped me catch that last fish was the fact that I added PVA bag to my hook. It's only a tiny, tiny little bag it's just some crushed up hybrid. There's a baiting up band here on Stambra, so the more bait that you can get around your hook bait, obviously without breaking the rules, the better. And the only way to do that is through PVA. So I'm attaching this little bag here. All it is is crushed hybrid, and I've literally squashed that hybrid into a little ball, and I've left a, a fuse on the PVA like so. Now this is for a reason. Now the last thing you want is for your hair to tangle on the cast, so. I nick the PVA down the bottom, not through the knot, like that, just take it through a tiny section of the PVA, then I get the fuse and I wrap that around the back of the hook, trapping the hair, and then place the hook point back through, and that just prevents the hair tangling. As you can see there, that's not going to go around the shank or anything. I'm going to be able to launch that up to distances of 100, 110, maybe further without a wind, and uh, you're going to have a lovely pile of attraction around your hook bait and it certainly worked. Well, that went absolutely smack on casting well over 100 yards maybe 110 115 yards and uh, in this crosswind although it may be tricky it's going out there lovely today I'm using the subline the tapered subline 12 pound version tapered through to a 40 pound leader and uh, it's just making everything so much smoother there's no knots no shock leader knots, nothing to frap up on the tip rings on the cast. Just goes out there smooth as silk and uh, it's really proving, proving that it's working lovely today. Just sinking the line now. It's tough as old boots, sinks really well. And to be honest, why wouldn't you use it? That 40 pound leader again is nice and heavy. It's strong, it rubs on any ropes or boys like there is out there. Again, you've got that protection and much more protection than say a 15 pound main line or 12 pound main line it's just that much better just going to get this line sunk pop it onto the rests and hopefully we'll have another one Look at that, well, I think I've caught Quasimodo here. This one looks like, uh, it doesn't look like one of the stockies, this one. I think it could be, could be one of the originals. Look at that massive scale there on the side. An absolute character of a car, and uh, I'm well pleased with this one. They're coming thick and fast now. You never know, I might catch a few more. Well, we're coming into late afternoon now. The sun's vanished. It's gone into a really carpy afternoon. All the boats have gone and it's made it far easier because I haven't had them worried about picking up my lines or anything like that. We're into another fish. I think this is number eight, I think. 
It's been an absolute superb day. Back to an old water that I used to fish as a kid. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so glad I switched over to bottom baits. So that's really, really produced the goods. And we're hauling. We haven't got long now. It's going to be dinner time soon. So let's get this one in and uh, see if we can catch one in the last half an hour or so. Well, we've got about half an hour to go now of the session, and this one's just slipped up. Hopefully, we're gonna see you, mate. Take care. <laughs> got a couple of people watching over there, but um, I'm gonna slip this one back. Like I said, we've got about half an hour to go. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get that 20. But I've had a great day anyway. Well, what a fantastic day I've had at my old childhood haunt, Stanborough Lakes. I've caught quite a few fish today. I think. Uh, into double figures and uh, we had some absolute corkers so well chuffed with that. One of the things that I really noticed today was the change in tactics. I switched from hinge stiff rigs over to bottom baits with a little fleck of colour on top and it did the business, just started getting loads of bites. I also think that the PVA bag helped as well, just a little bit of food in there. You're not allowed any free offerings going out there today um, because a lot of people are a bit silly with the boats and everything so you're not allowed any free offerings but you are allowed PDA bags and that's done the business really really enjoyed myself so it's time to go for dinner now and uh, I'm going to enjoy my evening <laughs>